Welcome to Game. And now here's your host, Mega Shine. Welcome to this week's episode of Game. Be sure to email us at Game Show Chat and also follow us on Twitter at Game Show Chat. Here we're going to talk about our summer movie recap. Well, uh, just a brief conversation about some of this year's blockbusters. I got my man Dada Cucci and Big Pimp and Jay. Fellas, game on. Well, this summer has been, I wouldn't say it's a disappointment. It's just kind of been. Eh, disappointment? It, it's, it's, like, it's like a C, you know? <laughs> a C. A D would be a little disappointment. I mean, I like some of the movies that came out. A lot of them I was just like, ah, I don't even, uh, I'm not even going to bother with them. Okay, well, well, we'll start it off with the first movie of the quote unquote summer. It was in May, though. But Iron Man 3, what'd you guys think? I liked it. I liked Iron Man 3. It had a lot of uh, uh, negative points because of the of the Mandarin not being the Mandarin, but it felt like the rest of the Iron Man series to me. And generally, when I look at movies, I look at them as a whole. Like, okay, was Tony Stark, Tony Stark in one, two, and three? He felt exactly like it in all of them, except for he was really down on his luck this time. And, you know, a lot of people didn't like because he wasn't Iron Man most right. of the movie, but Tony Stark is Iron Man, not like how Bruce Wayne is Batman. Those are two separate people. Iron Man and Tony Stark is one person. Sometimes he's in a suit, sometimes he's not in a suit. I didn't have a problem with that. I mean, the action was there. It's setting up for the new phase that was, you know, pretty good. And, uh, you know, I, out, of, out of the long and the short of this, I like I liked Iron Man 3. I didn't really have an issue with it. I mean, a lot of people got, you know, really, really ticked off about that whole, it's the Mandarin deal. But see, what people don't realize is that there's the comic universe and then there's the movie universe. And people really get hung up on that and they're trying to combine the two. And really, they're two separate issues. So, I mean, I thought the movie was decent. It was a solid seven and a half. So I really wasn't, you know, too down on it. People got upset about the whole little itty bitty kid Robin sidekick thing, which I thought was funny because you didn't want to have him being a hardcore alcoholic and beating the crap out of people. <laughs> it is a Disney movie after all, yeah, guys. Yeah, of course. So, I mean, overall, you know, I, th I thought it was decent. It was enjoyable. I didn't have an issue with it. You know, they set up the next piece and I think we can move forward. From all right, there. I thought we Well, in moving forward, we'll move forward. Uh, Star Trek, and Into Darkness. <sighs> okay, I love Star Trek, the TV series. Uh -huh. I mean, it's great series. This movie was not Star Trek. That doesn't mean I didn't like it. I liked the movie. It's not Star Trek. It was an action movie with characters who have the same name as Star Trek characters and on the same ship. But it's not, I mean, they weren't exploring, they're not doing any of that stuff, oh, whatever, okay. Some people didn't like it because of the, 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 the retake on Khan and how like, oh my goodness, how in the heck are they gonna remake a movie? People didn't hate it did? because of that. People hated it because the first half of the movie started off as a good sci-fi flick. Yeah. And then the last half of the movie, it's I've seen this movie 45 times on TNT. And that's the part that ticked me off about it. The first half, you're like, we're moving to something. Life is good. We've got a decent story. And then, wait, I've seen this movie before. So the thing oh, is, okay. It I just... think they did it better though, because like, I like Wrath of Khan, but just like the dynamic between, they, they didn't really have that interaction because Kirk was on his ship, yeah. Kyle was on his ship, they talked via uh, view screens. They, they didn't fight, they didn't really have that interaction. Putting, you, you try putting Shatner and Ricardo Montalban in the same room and don't have the universe implode. Oh, it would have blew up with the oh, ego. Exactly, just, that wasn't boom. gonna work. But like just the way they did it, because they put the Khan and he was, you know, he, he fought Kirk. Oh, Cumberbatch yeah, yeah. did a great job. I mean, the, the, the story overall was fine. The acting was fine. But just when you got to the last half of that movie, it was like, guys, you couldn't have decided to do something original. And that's the, that's the whole point is because, like, they're, they're erasing what we saw already in this. I mean, if you look at it from the standpoint of the universe, that stuff that we saw didn't exist. Didn't exist. And so I'm cool that's with why, that. So then, why, so then why retell it? You have all these Hollywood actors, people yeah, artwork, give something that people want to see. I, and I don't, I don't, I'm not arguing with you with that. I mean, it's, it's, they could have. Oh, was, I thought I liked it. You didn't like it. No, I, thought, no, I, I liked it just, the, like I said, I liked the first half of the movie. It's two separate movies that they tried to roll into one. It's, it's like a Limp Biscuit song. You put four things at once <laughs> and hope something sticks. Which is, oh. So you're saying if you're going to go left, go all the yeah, way left, and left. then don't go all the way left yeah. and then try to come right exactly. just a little bit. Halfway through the movie, they kicked the thing in reverse and just pissed me off. Uh, it it kind of did, but it was, I thought it was kind of cool. They had the, the deaf enterprise, whatever the heck they call it, the dreadnought. But well, why the oh, hell would you put triples cool in a movie? Though. Tribbles, because it's just a nod. It's just a nod to the series. I mean, I mean, now that you see all that stuff, they're nodding like, oh, we did this, we did this, they put a little nod to it. Look yeah, angry. that's a nod. <laughs> it's just like, hey, we see you. We got, we, we see you, big ass Star Trek fan. We got you. That's what, that's what they're right, doing. So it's they, just a little nod. So they took know? care of all this. Yeah. Pressure going. So we'll continue to roll on. Um, Fast and the Furious Six. Oh. I avoided that movie like the play. I loved oh, it. Now yeah. don't give me <laughs> one. It was good. Fast Five. It started with four. Part one was good. It was great. Two sucked. 
three, what the hell were they doing? Uh, then it started getting good. Four, five, five was like a, 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 a caper, like like Ocean's Eleven. They were trying to get something done. They had to get the collaboration uh, of all the people. I wouldn't go Ocean's Eleven. I'm not it saying was... It, it was as good as Ocean Eleven. Like what I'm saying is comparatively, they had to get the group of people together, yeah. work on a plan to steal this money. Yeah, and, then and I, I thought they did it well. And then the continuation of six is. I thought it was really good. My problem is that I freaking had to leave the theater because I had to take a, a mad pee. <laughs> <laughs> because, and I missed the setup for seven. Well, I enjoyed the whole movie for the most part, and I won't ruin the, you know, the, setup the, the lead. For seven? The, right, the setup in the seven. My only issue was having to deal with Vin Diesel jumping across <laughs> a freeway gap. <laughs> Other than that, I was hey, good. I could have done it with a video camera and matchbox cars. It would have been a better movie. Well, okay, well, then there we go. There we go. So, we'll move on. And from, <laughs> Benzi- from Vin Diesel flying to Man of Steel. Man, oh, don't get me started on that. That you was didn't like my... Man of Steel? Man of Steel was the best Superman movie that they've ever have they, they've, they've done. Which but isn't saying a lot. It's not saying much. It's not saying a lot. It's not saying much. My problem was the pacing of the movie. It was not paced to me as well as it should have been. The character development was great for Clark Kent. They had great Clark Kent character development. They did not develop Superman at all. He was just Superman. They didn't develop Lois Lane and Superman's relationship. Well, well, I don't, That's, well, and well, I understand it's a setup, they, but they, they already did more. it, though. Lois Lane had that real cool teleport scene towards the end where she went from, like, downtown massive destruction to, like, you know, subway section six yeah. in about 15 seconds. Yeah, it's just yeah. like they did kind of some things. And, like, and the ending was great. We had these talks about Goku versus Superman, and they made Superman. They Dragon Ball the movie. They up. did. But at least Goku knows how to get the heck out of the vicinity of the city <laughs> so people don't die and get... I mean, Superman is supposed to be that guy that's the, the, the all-American, even though he's not his all-world. He right. doesn't go out there trying to kill people. But you brought up a great point earlier. And, you, know, you know, dating back to Iron Man, you said that, you know, there is Iron Man and then there's Batman. Batman's got this psychosis thing, right? Iron Man doesn't. No, but neither, Superman, neither Superman does the same thing. Superman is... Cl- I mean, from our standpoint, for what we've seen comic books, TV shows-wise, you have Clark Kent, his personality, and you have Superman, his personality. Two distinct people, and they didn't do that with this well, movie. Well, right, but isn't that something that I think we've always been wanting to see? Because he's always been, you know, forever the Boy Scout. He's always been somebody who, well, in order to save two billion, I can't no, get rid of I, these two I, people. I, I Whereas in this, it was, hey, well, by any means necessary, I, that's they have what to I be did eliminated. like about the movie. I, I didn't hate the movie overall. I just, there's the little nitpicky things, and you know, all us nerds have their little nitpicky things that. We needed some salt. Yeah, it just, yeah, it did bit. need a little bit more salt, and I just think they should have developed Superman a little bit better. They, they, Clark Kent, Pa Kent, they developed it real well. They should have developed Superman a, just a tad more. And maybe that we'll get that in the next few Let's movies, so. I guess. So, like, it was a good starter for it. And I, it was. I, I was pretty... I, I was happy with it for the most part. If I had a rating on it, I'd give it a... It's a B minus floating on the, the, the fence of okay. a C. But, you know... I, what, what rating would you I give? I think it was like a B plus. I mean, it certainly wasn't an A movie. B, B plus, kind of right in there. I had no issue with it. You know, it's, uh, again, a new take on an old story we've all heard. Okay, great. And last but not least, Pacific Rim. Giant robots are fun. Giant robots generally are fun. It's not my favorite genre, and that doesn't mean I didn't like the movie. It went into it. You know what you, you knew were gonna it was gonna get. happen. Walking in the door. Yeah, you knew what you were gonna get. It's just like the giant robots that beat up the monsters, destruction, crash. You can watch any giant robot movie, Godzilla movie, and you'll get the same thing. I think the special effects in that movie were awesome. Yes. Uh, you know the way they did the scaling, yeah. the battle scenes were cool. And you know who really surprised the mess of me was Idris Elba in that movie. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Honestly, halfway through the film, it occurred to me, oh my god, that's Idris Elba. He did such a great job with this role. I can completely forgot who it every, was. Every role I've seen him in, he does a great phenomenal. job. Yeah, He's a phenomenal actor. Yeah. Uh, Just phenomenal. I mean, but decent like... story. Again, you, you <clears> look, <throat> for anybody who watches giant robot films, you know what's going to happen. Don't pretend that there's this weird plot. Just go in and enjoy it. Yep. Yeah. So, everybody, be sure to email us some of your movie thoughts at gameshowchat at g- gmail.com. And also follow us on Twitter at Game Show Chat. And be sure to, you know, let us know all your opinions. And don't forget uh, a couple other, last but not least, R.I.P.D., uh, Two Guns, and Red 2, other good movies for the summer. Game over.